first we can take one point on the circle is the point then take the point coordinates as x and y then join the center of the circle that is the origin to the to that point use one line and join that is the radius of the circle we can mark it as letter r to represent that radius then next then draw one perpendicular from this point to down then we can you we'll get one right angle triangle then that right angle triangle this side x and this side y because this point is each one x y okay then after that we can take this angle it is theta then next here we can define sine and cos sine theta we know sine theta opposite side over hypotenuse and cos theta adjacent side over hypotenuse that means here sine theta y over r and cos theta x over r then another thing is a right angle triangle we can apply here Pythagoras theorem then we can write it as r square is equal to x square plus y square then next we are going to take reflection of this triangle in the line y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 means x axis that means we are going to take the reflection of this triangle in the line y is equal to 0 that means x axis okay then if you take reflection it will come like this then here one angle formed we can mark that angle but the direction of that angle is anti-clockwise then not anti-clockwise the first one is anti-clockwise that is a positive direction the second one is clockwise direction then clockwise direction we can take is the opposite direction the clockwise direction then we can take that angle as negative negative theta because both triangles are congruent negative theta then uh, that means positive direction or always positive direction is which one anti-clockwise direction on the anti-clockwise direction angle always positive and clockwise direction angle we are taking always negative okay then here in this case we know these two, two angles are which one equal because these two triangles are congruent why these two angles are two triangles are congruent because one triangle is a reflection of the other triangle then one triangle for one this case first this first angle that is this angle direction is anti-clockwise that's why we have taken that one as theta then the other angle direction is clockwise that is opposite direction that is negative that is negative theta okay the same way here we know this uh, we know this part this length we know y then here in this case is a opposite direction then we can take it as negative y okay the next step we are uh, we we can find we can write this point this right we can write this point that is here first x then next one is this direction this one is which one the length is which one negative y that means we can write that we can mark that point as x negative y then we know this is the radius of circle that is r but we can show that one that is r for that one we know this triangle is a right angle triangle here we can use Pythagoras theorem to find this side that means that side is equal to root of x square plus the other side that is negative y whole square we know negative y whole square is y square that means we can write root x square plus y square we know what is root x square plus y square that is from here we we know that is r square is equal to x square plus y square that means r is equal to x square root r x square plus y square that means instead of root r x square plus y square we can write it as r that means we got this length r okay now in this triangle this triangle length we know that is one side x other side negative y then the hypotenuse r then here this right angle triangle we can find the value of sine negative theta cos negative theta okay first sine negative theta sine negative theta is equal to that's so opposite side negative y over hypotenuse that is r that is negative y over r we can write it as like this negative y over r we know y over r what is y over r that is sine theta that means instead of this y over r we can write sine theta that is negative sine theta that means we got one relation that is sine negative theta is equal to negative sine theta that is the first relation then we can check with cos that is cos negative theta cos negative theta then first adjacent side that is here x x over hypotenuse that is r then cos negative theta is equal to x over r we know what is x over r that is cos theta cos theta is equal to x over r 
then instead of this x over r we can write cos theta that means cos negative theta is equal to cos theta that is the second relation okay that means in sin theta case that is sin negative theta is equal to negative sin theta but in cos case cos negative theta is equal to cos theta okay thank you